Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 15, Practice Problems Review is on part-part-whole ratios. Number one, here's a tape diagram representing the ratio of red paint to yellow paint in a mixture of orange paint. A, what is the ratio of yellow paint to red paint? Well, careful, it says yellow to red. And so we have one, two parts of yellow and one, two, three parts of red. So this is a two yellow to three red. Pay attention to the order there. Everything in the question made you want to maybe do three to two, but it's two to three because the question itself says yellow to red. Now, how many total cups of orange paint will this mixture yield? Well, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen cups of orange paint. Question two, at the kennel, the ratio of cats to dogs is four to five. There are 27 animals in all. Here's a tape diagram representing this ratio. Well, A, what is the value of each small rectangle? How many dogs, how many cats? How many total parts do we have here? There are nine. There are nine total parts, and there's 27 animals in all. So if I took that 27 and divided it by 9, that's going to result in 3 going into each of these boxes. So that would be 3, 6, 9, 12 cats. And 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 dogs. So 12 cats and 15 dogs adds up to the 27. It's equal number in each of these boxes. So... The value of each small rectangle, 3. Dogs at the kennel, careful, 15. Cats at the kennel, 12. Really pay attention to the order. That seems to be a theme in this lesson. Number 3. Last month, there were 4 sunny days for every rainy day. If there were 30 days in the month, how many days were rainy? Explain your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider using a tape diagram. Well, we might as well use the tape diagram here. And so let's go sunny days and rainy days. Four sunny days for every rainy day. So if we draw this box, we're going to have four boxes that are sunny for every one that is rainy. Now, right now I have five parts here. A total of five parts. There are 30 days in the month. How many were rainy? If I take that 30 total and divide by the five parts, or the total of five parts, that's going to tell me that there's six in each of these boxes. And so I can put a six, 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 and Again, when you add these up, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 total days divided into the 5 for that ratio. And so we had 6, 12, 18, 24 sunny days, one last time, and 6 rainy days. And so the question itself asked how many days were rainy? I'm going to say 6 rainy days. But hopefully other information there to help you solve this and other questions as well. Question four. Noah entered a 100-mile bike race. He knows he can ride 32 miles in 160 minutes. At this rate, how long will it take him to finish the race? Use each table to find the answer. Next, explain which table you think works better in finding the answer. Well, in table A, we're going from 32 down to 1. We're going to find out how far he can go in, or how long it takes him to go one mile. Well, from 32 to 1, we're dividing by 32. So if I take 160 and divide it by 32, I get 5. Well, from 1 to 100, I'm multiplying by 
100, and so I need to multiply 5 by 100 to get to 500 minutes. Seems relatively straightforward enough. Now, 32 to 96 is multiplying by 3. And so 160 times 3 is 480. Now, I'm going to 4. Well, if I take 96 divided by 4, I get 24. So that means I'm 96 divided by 24 gets me to 4. And so 480 divided by 24 is 20. Okay, then 4 times 25 gets me to 100. And 20 times 25 gets me to 500. Which do you think works better? Well, I, I personally think A. I mean, it's two steps as opposed to three. It's pretty direct and getting down to one mile and then up to 100 miles. Um, yeah. But some people might like B. And if you're out there and you like B, then good for you. Really good for you. Question five. A cashier worked an eight-hour day. And earned $58. The double number line shows the amount she earned for working different numbers of hours. For each question, explain your reasoning. How much does the cashier earn per hour? Well, we don't have that on the number line, but we do have a way to get there. We have $14.50 in two hours. So if I'm looking to get this down to one hour... If you take that 2 and cut it in half, divide by 2, you get 1 hour. So $14.50 divided by 2 gets us $7.25 per hour. She works 3 hours. Take that $7.25 in 1 hour. And you could technically add it to the $14.50 in 2 hours to get the total of 3 hours. Or... You could take 1 times 3 to get to 3 hours and $7.25 times 3 to get to $21.75. And Question 6. A grocery store sells bags of oranges in two different sizes. The 3-pound bag of oranges cost $4. The 8-pound bags of oranges cost $9. Which oranges cost less per pound? Explain or show your reasoning. $4 for 3 pounds. We want to get down to how much for 1 pound? $9 for 8 pounds. We can also see how much for 1 pound. For the 3 pound example, if we take that 4 and divide it by 3, bring it up with $1.33. Three, 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 forever. So one dollar and thirty-three cents repeating. And in the bottom one, if we divide by eight, nine divided by eight is one point one two five, or one and one hundred twenty-five thousandths of a dollar, or one dollar twelve and a half cents. Well, the Eight pound bag for nine dollars is the less per pound. And I believe that's it for this lesson on part, part, whole <laughs> ratios, which was unit two, lesson 15 in grade six. Good luck.